Hey, what's up everybody? January 2nd, 2020. The new decade has begun. The market started off with a bang, too. The Dow up over 300 points. Uh, new records and everything. New records and everything. Now, as you know, uh, last week, maybe uh, the week before that, I told you that now I want to sell into this rally. Uh, sentiment has clearly shifted to bullish. Think back to 2019. It was, I mean, it was negative everywhere, man. Negative everywhere. Now everything is fantastic. Everything is bullish. Uh, I even saw a, uh, a post on the internet, Goldman Sachs, saying there's never going to be a recession now. Now, I never said there was never going to be a recession, you know, I, I, and, and they said they gave reasons uh, which really uh, had nothing to do with my reasons. My reasons, of course, I've been telling you is that the fiscal support to the economy now is unprecedented, and that's going to stay in place now for a number of years. Uh, some people say it's going to be like around 2022, 2023, it could be longer than that. And of course, the reason is that the, the main components of that fiscal support, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, all the baby boomers uh, reaching retirement age now, the roles of recipients are growing. That just expands the fiscal support every year. And of course, defense, which is a, a discretionary expenditure, but in this country, especially under Trump, it's treated like a non-discretionary expenditure. So those four things combined, that's more than half of all spending and they're growing every single year. Goldman didn't say that, but I just thought it was interesting that, hey, no more recession. No more recession. So you see the flip in the sentiment uh, clearly uh, compared to what we saw for most of last year up until what? Probably like early December. I mean, the whole 11 months of the year, it was like, that's all you read in the headlines was how bad everything was gonna be. So we've had the sentiment shift, and of course that's not enough to uh, cause the market to correct. That is an element, uh, a market psychology element. But also, uh, there were some things, I talked about it last week, uh, banking data, for example, I thought so, showed some shocking deceleration in some of those metrics, in many of those metrics, actually. Loans and leases, particularly, and I, I rattled off the numbers. if. If you want, go back and watch that video that I made. Uh, also something interesting that I saw uh, or have been watching and following recently, unemployment benefits. You know, that's the benefits the government pays to people when they lose their jobs. That has stopped falling year over year. Now that's been going down year over year for the last three or four years because the economy has been very strong and the labor market has been very strong, but it's flat now. There's no more year-over-year -year decline in that, which means that unemployment benefits are not falling anymore relative to last year. And it's the first time, and it may be too soon to make a judgment from that, but I've noticed it, and I'm paying attention to that. So we got these kind of things going on. Um, big picture still looks good. I mean, you know, we got an election this year in November. Who knows what's going to happen then? If there is uh, a new administration, if there's if if Congress changes, if the Republicans lose the Senate and it's completely Democratic controlled, and new policies will adjust our strategy if necessary, because we have the understanding of how policy affects the economy. Our understanding is correct because we see it through the the lens of MMT, which. Um, is the proper understanding of the monetary system. So we can understand, we know how policy will have an effect, but we have time for that. It's not happening now. Many of you took advantage of the uh, last days of 2019 to sign up for the 30-day free trial and lock in your $250 rate uh, to MMT Trader. I congratulate you for that. I've already had some new signups at the $395 rate. I congratulate you people for that. Why? For two reasons. Number one, that's still very cheap. And number two, you invest in yourself. You invest in your knowledge base. 
you invest in the proper information, you invest in mental game and your behavior, that brings more abundance. Folks, you can't hang on to your dollars or your, your whatever it is you, you transact it. Money is for transaction. You can't eat money, you can't sleep with money, you can't Money is there for transaction, and transaction with money brings you more abundance if you transact wisely. <clears throat> and knowledge, you know, uh, uh, better knowledge, better information, better understanding, better behavior, that will bring more abundance. That will bring more abundance. Money is for transaction, and it's there to elevate you to a higher level. To raise your standard of living. You want more financial success. You want more profits. You want a better understanding of the markets and how to trade them. You need information. You need to improve yourself. You need to scale up. That's what I've been saying. So let's do this. All right, everybody. Great day today. And uh, let's take it from here. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.